Hi beauty babes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little review um, on a palette that I've been using quite a lot now and that is the Neon palette in orange from Huda or Huda Beauty, however you prefer, how you prefer to actually pronounce it. Um, it's this one here Now, as you can see I have used this quite a lot. Um, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful without the shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. See what I did there? Um, so I'm going to do some swatches with you now so that you can have a look at it. Um, I will just say she's quite an expensive little palette. Uh, she works out at £29 and you get nine shades in there. So I'll just read out the details to you. Um, it's got a 12 month shelf life on it and it doesn't say whether it's vegan or cruelty free doesn't say that on the packaging um, no it just says pet one so there's nothing on there about it being cruelty free I would have thought if it was they would have been jumping up and down about it but I don't know I don't know. So what have you got inside? You've got a full size mirror in there, or as full size as what you can do for the size of the palette. Um, but you have got a full size mirror. And then you have six matte shades and you also have three shimmer shades. Um, now the matte shades are, they are pretty pigmented. Pretty pigment. I mean, now you know how difficult it is to get those sorts of shades to really show up. Um, then we've got this gorgeous orange there, which does feel a little bit gritty to the touch, but oh my word, how beautiful! Um, then we have this sort of in between the yellow and the orange there. So she is lovely. Then we have this sort of it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a bluey sort of pink is the way that I'm gonna describe it. A bluey pink. So yeah, that's pretty. Got another orangey colour here, which is just a pure neon orange. Which is fairly similar to this one and then we have this sort of like a blood orange colour here which is this colour here and I'll just show you that so those are the mattes so they really really are quite pigmented but you would expect that I mean it's an expensive palette so you would expect it would expect that um they yeah they show up they definitely show up which I'm quite happy about. So then we go on to these shimmer shades. So we've got this sort of orangey shimmer here. And then we have a, a sort of a deeper pinkier orange. And then we have this yellow, which is a bit gold. So those are the three. I'll get this to come into focus. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So those are those colours there. So let's just swipe these on my hand. It's not a very good swatch at all, is it? They haven't come out very well at all. The yellow's come out not so bad, but the other two pinks haven't really shown up. Let's see if we can do that on my arm properly. camera to dad so I'm not focus. There's the orange. Here's the pinky orange. Yeah they don't swatch the best. I've got to say they're not the best swatches in the world. They really are not. But they do show up on the eye as so, okay, I'm going to go and wipe these off now, but I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you. Um, 
share with me as I do my eyes and I will see you right back in a minute.
as you can see, the shimmers do actually show up quite nicely. So, I mean, that's how they look on my eyes. And I think they are really, really pretty. I love orange. I do. I love orange. And I'm wearing like a mustardy sort of orangey colour jumper today. So it goes in really nicely with that sort of blend. Um, I think this is a really nice palette. I don't regret spending the money on this because I bought this when I was in Florida. You can see it's a very, very small palette. Um, I don't regret buying it at all because it really is lovely. Um, I am... So I wouldn't say it's my favourite palette. The shimmers are not the most pigmented at all. I'm trying to see if I can get the shimmer to build up on my wrist. I've got to say, I've had more luck with, with the Morphe. See, they look more like a topper than they do a shimmer. Um, but they are very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I wouldn't put it as my favourite um, eyeshadow palette at the moment definitely not would not say it's my favorite i like it but it's not my favorite um i like the pink one as well i'll do a separate video on that and yeah so i would probably give this about a seven out of ten i would say seven out of ten because i do like it but it's not my favorite um and it's very very good for especially if you're doing like an 80s night or something like that very neon I like a sunset eye look. I've always liked a sunset eye look. It's one of them likes, one of them things that you either love it or you hate it. Um, I love it. I do. I absolutely love it. Um, I've topped it off with some Tarte mascara today. Um, and I've also got Marc Jacobs. I mean, my whole face is actually high end today, by the way. I'm high end. Um, yeah, my whole face is high end. Um, but with I've got Benefit Give Me Brow, um, and then Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and also the Tarte mascara on there as well. So yeah, that's my little mini review of this palette. Um, I'll link down below where you can get it from. You can get it off Cult Beauty over here. Um, it's a shame you can't really get it off of Beauty Bay, but you get it off of Cult Beauty. Um, and I hope to see you again in the next video. So take care, beauty babes, and ta-la for now. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.